We always think about our bad deeds and what we have. We always speak about the mizan and the balance on Yom Al-Qiyamah, the good deeds and the bad deeds. Each and every finger what we do is written. We've got no doubt about it. Everything what you do and what you say and what you utter, is someone ready to write it down. We always think about how are we going to face Allah Azza wa Jal on Yom Al-Qiyamah when our deeds are portrayed in front of us. Out of the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. On Yom Al-Qiyamah. Listen to the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Yu'ta bihi Yom Al-Qiyamah. One will be brought in front of Allah Azza wa Jal on Yom Al-Qiyamah. It will be said to him and shown to him, Fa'alta kada wa kada. You have done this and this on that day. Fa'alta kada wa kada. He repeated, you have done this and this on that day. For verily today I have exchanged your bad deeds to good deeds. Allahu Akbar. Today I have exchanged your bad deeds to good deeds. Because you went to Allah Azza wa Jalla with La ilaha illallah. A man came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam complained about the sin what he has done. Someone who has seen the Prophet sallam, he met the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, died upon Iman, sahabi. Mentioning his sin, what he committed in front of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got a revelation. وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةِ طَرَفَ النَّهَارِ وَزُلَفًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ ذَلِكَ ذِكْرَى لِلذَّاكِرِينَ Because of the concern that he had for his sin and he wanted to repent and Allah knew that this heart is not going to repeat this kind of sin again and again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ Indeed, the good deeds, what you do, remove your bad deeds in your account. The good deeds of what you do, it removes the bad deeds in your account, even though you don't say istighfar even one time. The salah that you do, the step that you do, any good deed that you do, subhanAllah, out of the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Why? Because He wants you to enter Jannah. 